action. Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and doing well. Um, I'm Mrs. Remedios, I'm in room 30, if you don't know me. So today I get to the pleasure of reading Gustavo the Shy Ghost. So a couple of reasons I love this book is the art, and so you can see from the cover, um, and also of course the story. So you can see, I'm gonna take the cover off because then I want you to meet Gustavo, okay? Gustavo the Shy Ghost is written by Flavia Z. Drago. Gustavo was a ghost. He enjoyed doing the normal things that paranormal beings do, passing through walls, making objects fly, and glowing in the dark. But there was nothing in the world that he loved more than playing the violin. Well, almost nothing. Gustavo was secretly in love with Alma. The prettiest monster in town. But he also had a problem. You see, Gustavo was so shy that some things felt incredibly difficult for him. And the worst part of it? Making friends was terrifying. Gustavo had never dared to speak to any of the other monsters. He tried getting close to them in many, many different ways. But even when he was right in front of them, they just couldn't see him. Gustavo longed to be part of something more than anything he wanted to make a friend. I have to be brave. I have to let the others see me, he thought. So, he decided to send a letter, a very special one. Dear Monsters, I would like to invite you to my violin concert, which will take place at the Day of the Dead party next full moon at the cemetery. I would be thrilled to see you there, Gustavo the Ghost. As the days went by, Gustavo couldn't stop thinking. What if no one shows up? What if they don't like my violin, my music? What if they don't like me? Except tonight was the night, and this time he couldn't hide. but not a soul had come. So all alone, Gustavo did what he loved most and the music made him happy. So happy that he glowed. Oh, how he glowed. Gustavo! to get you flowers but we got lost instead we're so sorry we're late and then we heard your music and we saw your glow we really loved your concert would you like to hang out with us from that moment on Gustavo's life changed and everyone discovered that even if he didn't talk much, he was the best at helping and protecting his friends. But mostly, Gustavo never stopped surprising them. And they never stopped loving him. 
So that's the story of Gustavo the Shy Ghost. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm happy to have shared it with you. Bye. Thank you.